Hi lads and lasses, Mother's Pelican here with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. If you enjoy this video, force all the children in your basement to subscribe to me, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Today I want to tell you the emotional and pretty inspirational story of how I invaded England. So I spawn in, and finally we have a game that lets you assassinate people as a child. This truly is next gen, but no it's actually just a bunch of adults heavily drinking while their mood becomes increasingly aggressive. What is this my childhood? They even force me to dance, it's pretty weird and cult like. Fortunately a rival clan crashes the party and slays everyone so I can escape. I am now an adult. The quickest puberty ever, but yeah welcome to Norway and it's now time to find my crew who've been captured. I really like Vikings, in fact I even have this plastic Viking helmet I own when my girlfriend and I make sweet love. Kidding, we don't make sweet love, in fact I don't even have a girlfriend, I usually just rub one out and then cry myself to sleep. It's not pathetic though, because I do actually wear the helmet. I proceed to kill this crow because pelicans are the only bird for me, and then I come across something truly strange drawn into the snow. It's some kind of symbol and I just wonder what on earth it could mean. One thing I know for sure is that whoever made this is very artistic and talented and probably has a great personality if you get to know them. Wow, my content really is top shelf entertainment these days, you should like and subscribe if you want to see more intellectual humour. For now it's time to focus on the task at hand. I eliminate these two hostiles like a champ and it seems they were both sleeping in the same small tent. That sure is cozy, but I guess real bros snuggle. Speaking of bros, I find one of my crew members who seems like a gentle soul. We agree that I'll storm the fortress and save everyone while he gets the ship ready. It seems like I drew the short straw on that one, but hey, girls love a hero, especially a virtual gamer hero. I approach the fortress and judging by the footsteps in the snow, it looks like either 12 men walked on this same track or one man with 24 legs, it's almost impossible to tell. I decide to get an aerial advantage. I then spot an unaware soldier which is absolutely perfect as I can now flex my assassin skills. I leap down with my axe drawn, flying through the air and land about 6 feet from my target. Wow, this is more awkward than the time I was ordering from Subway and the sandwich artist asked what cheese I wanted and I leaned in and kissed him, I mean cheddar. Moments later, some big bearded malacca tries to kill me, but I do what I always do and shoot arrows into his face from a safe distance. This may seem cheap, and that's because it is. I free my soldiers, and now it's time to burn this village to the ground, just like the clan would. The Viking clan, we are a Viking clan, that is a crucial differentiator. We all charge out, and it's a glorious battle, but then again, it's actually not, it's just me swinging my axes and I'm getting absolutely belted. I kind of envisaged us all running out together and there'd be this huge clash but only one of my guys comes out. I then just straight up die and it's a pretty full on death, wow. Alright, it's time to set sail for my village so that we can check in as we've been missing for quite some time. As we fly along the open water, the lads set the mood by singing classic sea chanties such as Notorious B.I.G's hit song, Big Booty Hose. Upon arrival, I disembark my boat in the most elaborate possible way because this is Assassin's Creed and that's just what you do. Everyone seems pretty excited to see me because they probably think I've plundered riches. But no, we've all just been in sadistic Norwegian prisons. In fact, this expedition probably cost our clan money as we'll all need pretty intense psychotherapy. I then, no joke, get into a rap battle and spit some absolute fire bars. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull, then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. The only rappers Eminem is afraid to battle. I talk to this lass and she gives me some new clothes such as this bear mask. I'm not sure about it though, it seems like a bit much. My next task is to go and speak with a wise person that lives on top of a snowy mountain. They can't be that wise though, imagine grocery shopping. You'd need two Sherpas and a mountaineering certification to grab a Gatorade. I hike for ages and ages and eventually reach the summit and the wise woman's house. She gives me a bowl of warm soup which is nice, but she also spiked the soup which is less nice. This triggers me to have a weird out of body experience. You see, back when I was a kid and my village was raided, they killed my father in front of my very eyes and now I have daddy issues. Apparently my subconscious copes with that by visualising women without any faces doing chores which I guess somehow makes sense. They're kind of terrifying, but I bet you under those eerie dresses they have dump truck booties. The troop gets really weird and next thing I know it's morning, I'm sober and in my underwear. I don't know what happened last night, but there's a good chance I'm no longer a virgin, so we're making moves. 
I also feel as if descending an icy cliff in this attire is a real alpha play. There's a big meeting going on today between all the Viking tribes. Everyone's getting ready to set sail and I engage in a little light-hearted banter with the team. Not only does this build a sense of community, it's important to show the peasants at the workplace that you value them. We set sail once again and nothing can distract us now. Well, I mean, we do raid and pillage one outpost on the way. I don't know why I bothered ever using a shield as dual wielding axes is way cooler. Not as cool as the lad's desire to burn everything even before the fight is over. It's kind of inspiring though they keep lighting me as well. I'm so charred I look like a character that hasn't been unlocked yet. After we finish celebrating the win, the Viking King rocks up and this could be an awkward meeting so I do what I do best. Take control of the situation. I wear nothing but my underwear for the ultimate negotiation power play. It turns out the big dog wants us to take down another crew so there's a lot more bloodshed. It's pretty glorious. To celebrate the dubs, I drop an Okta tea bag on the corpses. Some of these guys are my soldiers, but it is what it is. More important than the fight, I decide to attempt something no man has attempted before. I will scale the outside boundary cliff of the map and see how high we can go. Whenever I get an open world game, I like to test the limits of the map for some reason. Unlike those lame game review channels that focus on the quality of the gameplay and graphics, which in turn gives you actionable information you can then use, I answer the real questions. In conclusion, you can climb pretty damn high and in true Viking fashion, I leap because I have faith in the chief god Odin. He proceeds to let me down pretty massively, which I can't imagine helps with the daddy issues. Alright, it's time to go to this big Viking meetup. This is like Hillsong for Vikings, but hopefully with far less exploitation of vulnerable miners. Apparently they get up on stage and pray for the group, and no joke behind the preacher on a big screen are instructions on how to donate money to the church. Wait, maybe I could get a juicy Hillsong church sponsorship. I take it all back, it's an amazing organisation. I was blind before I went, but after opening my heart to Hillsong, I can see once more. Use code PELLY when donating. We finally arrive and I can't wait to make a good impression on everyone. I notice this poor woman is freezing and my heart breaks seeing her shiver in the cold wind. Fortunately, I have unlimited torches, so I'm more than happy to warm her right up. I feel like this is on the same intellectual level as the peony I drew in the snow. You need like a PhD to understand the multi-layered comedic genius of my videos. I have some good chats and even try to assassinate another Viking leader as a practical joke which he takes quite personally. Most importantly though, I let everyone know that Norway sucks and we'll be heading to England to make a new life for ourselves. Ah yes, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. It's kind of crazy to think that these longboats made their way across 900 kilometers of rough seas. The voyage typically took between 3 and 6 days and there were no beds and more alarmingly, no iPhones so you couldn't even play a little old school runescape to pass the time. All of a sudden, I'm transported to the present day to a cabin in the woods. That's actually my remains in the grounds that I'm now looking at. If I do say so myself, I have exceptionally aesthetic bone structure. It looks like I also drive a white van. Not the kind you'd abduct kids in, but I mean you definitely could if you wanted to. So yeah, if you're not familiar with Assassin's Creed, sometimes you come back to the real world. Let's get back to invading England though. So we set sail as the sun shines brighter than my future as an internet personality. This country has a lot of strange traditions such as baptism where a priest dunks someone into the water. I thought I'd break the mold and be an individual when I got baptised, so when the priest went to dunk me, I performed a textbook UFC style clinch reversal and dunked him. The whole room began clapping and chanting my name because I showed them that you don't have to conform. Unless it's a communist agenda, then yes, you obviously have to conform. We search for the perfect spot to build our settlement, but a chain blocks the river. I volunteer to take care of the situation as it'll give me a chance to practice my stealth gameplay. I can't say the captain did a great job of hiding our boat, but you play with the cards you're dealt. I run up this tree that has grown in an incredibly specific way, almost as if the developers planned it all. It looks like all those extra late night training sessions are starting to pay dividends as I'm flying. I clear the way for my crew so that they can pass, but the dodgy malakas don't even bring the boat close enough. Wow, I just risked my life, but Odin forbid you scratch the bow of your boat a little bit, I'll just freeze to death. We finally find the perfect little patch of land to call home. That sounds a little too wholesome. We are merely setting up a base so that we can have a central point to pillage and murder from. In fact, these guys asked us to leave, and our response was a fight to the death. 
We just sailed along miles of uninhabited river, but no, we want this one specific spot that these kind gentlemen were already living on. We're like a communist government forcing people out of their homes. Wait, we love communism, so that's a narrative we can all get around. We're going to make a life for ourselves here and then start the invasion. It's just like when the lads were singing Notorious Big in the ship earlier. We finna going to the spot, do our thing like we always do, don't take them to the crib unless they bone in. Thanks for watching you absolute legends, until next time and as always, stay classy.